Hello everyone, uh, the first assignment of this week in Algebra 1 is on IXL S19. Let's just make some practice and see what to expect to make sure that you know what to do. Okay, our question is about graphing the given function using the x and y intercept. Using the x and y intercept is the best option when the equations are given in the standard form. The standard form is when we have all of the variables together on one side, such as 3x minus 5y. And then we, have, we need the equal sign and just another number. It could be zero, positive numbers, negative numbers, it doesn't matter. Just a number. This is called the standard form. So in our example over here, we do have x and y on the left side and the number is on the right side so to get the x and y intercept first I'm gonna do it step by step and the, in the other examples I'm gonna try to make it real quick if we want to find the x intercept we want to plug in 0 for the y so get back to the equation and then rewrite the whole thing by putting 0 wherever we see the y so the left side starts with x minus y becomes the zero bring down the equal and then it equals to seven to get the x by itself just either add zero to each side which is kind of pointless so i'm just gonna cross that one out because x minus zero is x so bring the x down that equals to seven that's my first point once i get the y value the y intercept I am going to plot these two points in. So we write the whole equation again to find the y intercept. This time, plug in 0 for the x value. So let's rewrite the whole thing from left to the right. Uh, we start with the x, which is 0, minus y, bring down the equal, and then 7. Now I'm trying to get the y by itself. I can just ignore this 0 when I add or subtract it. However, there is negative y. I want it to be positive, which means I need to divide both of the sides by negative 1. So I can just cross these two negative 1s out and then bring the positive y down. And then 7 divided by negative 1 is negative 7. Now, these are the two intercepts that I have. Let's just plot them on IXL. Uh, I don't want to exit out the writing uh, function over here because if I do that, everything is going to be erased. So here is how I would plot this. I would just go to x, x, over, x is over here, it is the horizontal axis. Find the 7 over here and plot it. For the other one, y equals negative 7, the vertical axis is the y. Find negative 7 on the vertical axis right here. Now, once you plot these two points, IXL is automatically going to draw a solid line that passes through these two points. It's going to look like, it's going to look definitely better than what I did. But that's the point. Once you put the two points, you will have the line automatically. Uh, let's move on to the next level and see what kind of question that one is going to be right here. Okay, S19 again, we still have a standard form equation. The only difference is this time it looks a little bit bigger numbers. That's the only difference. So first, let's just plug in 0 for the x value. 21 times 0 plus, I'm just rewriting the equation, plus 6y equals negative 420 this right here that's 0 you can cross it out so bring down the 6 y on the left and negative 420 on the right if I divide each side by 6 I can get the y by itself so y would be equal to negative 70 that's the first point that I'm going to plot on the coordinate plane, but I will do that part once I get the, let me see, x-intercept. 
Okay, uh, let's get to work. If you write the equation 21 times x plus 6 times y, but this time I am going to plug in 0 for the y, equals negative 420. This right here is gone. Bring down the left, bring down the equal, and bring down the right side. To get the x by itself, I divide everything by 21 right here so x would be equal to negative 20 so the two points I'm going to plot let's just start with the first one that I found it's the y which is the vertical axis find that negative 70 which is right here and then go to the x-axis which is the horizontal one find negative 20 on this the second you do this, you will end up with your line. You will see that line over here that connects these two points. It will be something like that. So let's see if the questions are going to get any harder when we move on to the next level. Right now it is 0.60 by the way. The point value uh, was 60 for this question. Oh, you're not going to need to make it to 90, but even if you do want to uh, you do want to get to beyond 90, the question still looks the same. There's no difference at all. Plug in 0 for x, plug in 0 for y, get the variables by itself, plot the points, you will end up with your line. Thanks for watching, guys. Just comment below if you have any questions uh, after these uh, solutions.